Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. Remain indoors. Hands up all of you out there watching who use amp and effects software on your computer, iPad or smartphone. Well, I should have expected it to be a lot of you considering the topic of the video you've just clicked on. Me personally, I'm more of a hardware guy. I like my physical amps and effects, but I can't deny that there are some great apps out there which I'd love to be able to integrate with my physical setup. Today I'm looking at the X-Tone Smart Stomp, an audio interface in the form of a pedal which offers a well-featured solution to using apps and software alongside their physical counterparts. Let's blend the physical and digital worlds together. The Smart Stomp is able to control any audio software running on a device that can connect to it via USB, be that computers, laptops or even tablets and smartphones if you have the correct adapters. Exonic helpfully include the iPhone iPad Lightning to USB adapter in the box. The foot switches here send assignable MIDI commands to the software. This allows me to change sound presets or bring effects in and out, all programmable using the software's MIDI learn function. I can even assign an effect parameter to an external expression pedal should I want to use a digital wah, volume or swell of some kind. Signal can be sent out of the X-Tone either by using the balanced XLR, perfect for sending to a front of house in a live situation, or from the stereo line outs, meaning this can be hooked up to external power amps to drive speaker cabinets. Here we can see the Smart Stomp all wired up for using full amplifier simulation software. I have the device running the software connecting to the Smart Stomp via the USB cable. My guitar is connected to the input and the mono output connects to my power amp via the effects return on my amplifier. This will allow me to cleanly amplify whatever the software sends and record the result blasting through my speaker cabinet with microphones. At the same time, I have the XLR hooked up so you can hear what the front of house would receive in a live situation. I'm going to walk you through how I've set up the X-Tone Smart Stomp foot switches with the Bias FX software. You can see that I'm in green mode on the Smart Stomp thanks to the green LEDs and I've got B and C foot switches switching between two different preset types. B is selecting a clean, sort of cleanish sound and C switches into a more distorted patch. Due to Apple's app integration, I've even got the Eventide black hole reverb launched in as part of the signal chain here, so you can use multiple apps at the same time this way. Foot switch A brings in and out the pitch shifter, the whammy pedal, so that allows me the opportunity to have that two octave boost at any time that I want in these proceedings. That can be used to some creative effect, and that could be any pedal. I could assign that to the drive pedal, for example, or I could pull in the delay in and out on that as well. That's all just MIDI programmable. That can be anything you want, but I've chosen to have the whammy pedal on these two setups. It's also available on the clean. So I can do crazy little screams like that. Of course, two presets isn't a lot, and thankfully the X-Tone has different modes that we can switch into to multiply these buttons. So if we hold down the B foot switch, that puts us into blue mode, indicated by the blue LED. And now if I press B again, that will switch me into my Am I Evil preset, complete with delay and phaser, so we can get those lovely lead sounds. <laughs> And of course, if we want then to go into the rhythm tone, I can press A and that gets rid of both the phaser and the delay. I've got both of those assigned onto the A foot switch and now we can just have rhythm sounds. <laughs> 
I can go from here into a clean sound because I've set it up on the C foot switch and we've got yet another sort of clean sound with the even tide on there. So there's plenty of scope to have effects that come in and out as well as foot switch changes. That A foot switch again brings a delay in and out on that patch so you can do whatever you want here, have effects come in and out and have program changes. <laughs> There is an additional bank of switches here. If we hold down the C foot switch, we turn to the red mode. All the LEDs turn red and we've got three additional foot switches to play with. You can see on the Bias Effects software that we each foot switch set up for a different preset sound uh, based around classic metal tones and we'll get a look at those. But this is just to show that you can have just standard preset changes rather than bringing effects in and out on the foot switches if you want. Ideally you could probably have the red bank for instance be changes in your uh, presets and then you could switch down to the blue bank and have them switching effects in and out on these presets. So you could have a preset change and an effects change within the unit so we're just switching down the coloured banks. An alternative use is to have the smart stomp connected within the effects loop of the amplifier. This allows for the tone of the physical amplifier and effects to remain and the smart stomp becomes like any other pedal. This allows me to run software for one or more effects like reverb and delay, assign the foot switches to different effect presets and I can control it as if it were just a normal pedal in the effects loop. So we've got the X-Tone Smart Stomp set up in the effects loop of the Victory Kraken. This will act as all the pedals that I would typically use in an effects loop. To show you what I'm doing here, I've got the guitar setting up through these three physical pedals out front. We've got a noise gate, the hypergravity compressor from TC Electronic, and the high wind direwolf overdrive. This is like a tube screamer on steroids. So the guitar through these three pedals, the output of this pedal going to the front end of the Victory Kraken with gain two. So it's going through the preamp and then from the effects end of the amplifier, we come back into the X-Sonic. At the moment, I've got no software set up in the X-Tone. It's completely blank, so it's doing nothing. This is just what the guitar through the pedals, through the amp sounds like. <laughs> So it sounds like the Victory Kraken because it is the Victory Kraken. However, I've got the three foot switches on here set up to bring different effects in and out. The first one engages an EQ. So we've got a multiband EQ there, which will change the gain structure of the amplifier. So we can go from... that restructuring of the gain sound which is absolutely fantastic. So that's what I've set up to foot switch A. Foot switch B 
brings in this delay here, which is a, it's a tape echo style thing, and we get this. <laughs> And the C foot switch brings in this modulation here, a stereo chorus. I've switched down the gain structure so you can hear this a little bit better. I can also bring in the Eventide black hole reverb here and get reverb sounds on top of this, although unfortunately due to the limitations of using software within software, I can't assign any MIDI foot switch control to switch this on and off, but um, that's a small price to pay for the sort of sounds we get out of this. Using this in the effects loop gives me a chance to stack up multiple effects that would just be impossible using pedals, or indeed very expensive for us to try and get the proper studio quality rack mount equivalents. Things like the black hole reverb from Eventide, or indeed like a tape echo machine like this, or a rack mount EQ. These things would be incredibly difficult to get together for as low a price as what I can get software and one of these, so I think this is a real standout piece of gear for getting high quality software into your rig and using it within your physical setup as if it were pedals. Obviously, what software or apps you use alongside the X-Tone will decide much of what you can achieve with this and how complicated the setup will be to get everything to work effectively. The included manual does a great job of explaining the setup, including which drivers you need to download to get Windows devices to play ball. I followed these instructions and got it to work just fine, but be aware that the manual does run into the standard translated into English problems where the sentence structures don't always make sense. Due to the severe lack of Android compatible audio apps on the market, there was no point in me trying to connect my Samsung phone to the Smart Stomp. The only app that I could find was Amplitude, and frankly, that wasn't worth the time I spent searching. You'll have a much better time if you own a white device. The support for audio apps on iOS is far greater, so if you've got an iPhone or iPad, you'll have plenty to play around with. Another point worth mentioning is that the X-Tone has a headphone output, meaning you can use this as a practice device if you want. It also makes for a very convenient, compact travel companion, as all you need is this, your iPad, and a guitar. Of course, as this is an audio interface, you're capable of recording directly onto the connected device, so long as you have an appropriate DAW application. The X-Tone will also power from the USB port when a device is connected. Now, that obviously means that it will drain the battery power of your laptop or tablet, but it does mean you don't have to have an external 9 volt power supply to power the interface. As such, you could take this totally off the grid, play outdoors, or even on holiday. Um, after lockdown's finished. Remain indoors. This is a great compact device for guitarists looking to take their software on the road, or indeed for integrating specific apps with their physical setup. But it's not the only product the Xsonic produce. The X-Tone Pro builds on what this device accomplishes with additional switches, an XLR in for microphones, and MIDI functionality in and out to control other devices. I'll be doing a video on all these additional features soon, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see when that lands. Links to this product are in the description should you want to find out more, check the price, or even buy one for yourself. But that's all for now. Keep it loud, and stay safe.